All right, it's January the 25th of 2019. It's been five weeks since I got started with the European night crawlers, and one week since I put them in the urban worm bag. Let's take a look. I did put a lot of dry bedding on last week because of how moist the urban worm bag stays. It looks like there's a few right on top. A few healthies. Yeah, I'm just going to dig in. Heck with it. See what they're doing with this food. A few in there. I know I've got a few new people to the channel. The European night crawlers are great for fishing bait. They're a little bit larger than the red wigglers. That's a big one right there. I'm trying to poke around a little bit, see if we can see any cocoons, and right there is one. That is what the babies come out of. It's like a little egg, basically. Call them cocoons. There's another one right inside there. Get it on camera for you. See how that one's a little bit green, more green than the last one. I'll try to do a little comparison here. See the one on bottom's got a little bit more yellow tint to it. It's a day or two older than the one on top that's a more green. And I am doing a European cocoon only bin experiment with a hundred cocoons. Try to see how many babies we can get out of a hundred cocoons. If you haven't been around long, I did one with the red wigglers and had 300 cocoons and ended up counting 592 babies out of the 300 cocoons. So I figured they pretty much averaged two babies per cocoon. And I'm interested to see what the difference is with the Europeans. But it did take me about two hours to count the 592 babies, so I didn't want to do quite as many. They're lively. Moisture feels good. There's two more cocoons. So we should have a lot of babies before long. I mean, they're popping out cocoons. Pretty good, it seems. There's two right next to each other. Nice. don't want to disturb them a whole lot but I do just want to kind of air it out a little bit there's another cocoon so they are definitely getting busy there's one that's got some darker color to it so that one's if it'll focus that one's quite a bit further along than the green ones starting to get the red look to it There's another cocoon. Alright, so I'm gonna just kind of even this out and get some food. This little guy's wanting to crawl. I'd say that was one that was probably born. See, it doesn't have the white ring around it quite yet. It's trying to. That's the difference between a mature worm with the white ring, also known as the clitellum. That's how you know they're mature. 
versus a smaller one that doesn't have it yet. I'll grab some food and I'll be right back. I've got just a small amount of dry bedding I'm going to put down first. And I've got the usual potato peels, banana peels, and eggshells all blended up that have been frozen. Now you don't have to blend up your food for your worms and you don't have to freeze it, but it definitely helps break it down faster. So if you're asking me, I recommend it, but there's a lot of people that don't do either. And there's a lot of people that just throw their fruit pieces, banana peels, whatever in whole. But, you know, to me it's like a worm has a really small mouth and it just helps break it down quicker. And definitely on the root vegetables, there's a potato peel that didn't blend. But you definitely, if you're putting in potato peels, uh, carrots, cabbage anything that's hard to break down like that you definitely need to freeze first we'll finish getting this out of there and then grab some dry bedding so if you are new to worms the eggshells are for grit and calcium and I also I do go a little finer on the ground up oyster shells for the grit got a little bit in there I'm just gonna sprinkle around the edges a little extra grit and that's supposed to also help with the pH little pH buffer so there's a lot of different ways to grow your own worms whether it be for fishing or composting or both like I do and the way I do it might not be the way that everybody does it for sure but so far it's worked pretty good for me as you can see all the cocoons in there should have a lot more babies my red wigglers and my african night crawlers and european night crawlers all three have multiplied tremendously it's definitely worth looking into if you're wanting to try it it's fairly easy anyways leave me a comment hit that thumbs up for me and until next time have a great day